millions of people fell in love with this adorable little girl saying goodbye to her grandfather. Check this out. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. See you later, baby. See you later. You're going to see him soon, I promise. Joining me now are the toddler and granddad duo uh, Melting the Hearts of America. Please welcome Tony Collins, his daughter Colette, and their granddaughter Cammie. Yeah. Yeah. So, Tony and Cammie, y'all got a bunch of videos that went viral. W were you shocked by the, by the reaction? I was, you know, I was just just being me, you know, but uh, she was behind the yeah, camera. I, I post on Cammie's, she has a TikTok page. And I, <laughs> yeah, I posted on her page and people fell in love, of course they fell in love with Cammie, but since I've been posting about my dad and her, they fell in love with the both of them and it literally hit like 10 million views in like a day. You know, it was unbelievable. Cammie? <laughs> Cammie, what's, who is this? Papier. Who? Papier. 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 Yeah, they call me Papier. Oh, you Papier. I'm Papier. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, grandkids, you know, when they can't say something, whatever it is, that's what you're going to be. <laughs> you know, the, Tony, why why you think your bond is so tight with her? Ah, uh, wow. Um, to tell you my story, uh, you got to go way back a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I'm from a family of 16. I uh, grew up in this real small town in upstate New York. And my goal was to play in the NFL and be famous and make a lot of money and mm -hmm. help my family. And I, I did that. We got to the NFL. And uh, uh, my second year in the league, I uh, got addicted to painkillers. Mm -hmm. And from the painkillers, it went from marijuana. From the marijuana, it went from cocaine. From the cocaine, it went from me being suspended for a whole year out of the NFL. Mm -hmm. And uh, I lost everything. Totally lost everything. And um, when Colette was this age, I wasn't a good father. When your daughter was? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't a good father. And um, God spared my life, gave me a second chance. Mm -hmm. Now, how <laughs> to show you how good God is, if you take a picture of Cammie and Colette, when she was a little baby, Cammie looked, mm -hmm. they looked exactly They look alike. exactly like now. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, this. <laughs> God give me another chance to see Colette grow up again. So, I mean, look, look man, just, I mean, tell me a little bit about why, why weren't you a good father? What was it? Because I was uh, on the road a lot playing and also with the drugs. Mm -hmm. I remember the times when Colette used to run after me, but I was chasing the drug. And so that, that, I mean, it, it's just... I'm so thankful now yeah. because God has given me a second chance. I need to tell my story, let people know, so other kids don't have to go through what I went through. Because I know a lot of kids uh, you know, had the same, got the same goals that I had. Yes, the story is important. See, uh, I got men in camp. I talk, I talk to young dudes all the time, mm -hmm. man. And uh, one of the things, man, that I keep running into, uh, yeah, see, Mr. Harvey, you older, you don't understand. No, nah, man. Tell me what I don't understand. <laughs> Please tell me what part of this trip of manhood you own that I don't understand. Give it to me, because I done been on all of them. Right. Every young dude, I don't care who you are, if you have an aspiration to be a man, you're going to have to get to this point right here. Mm -hmm. Anything else, you fall short. It ain't complete until you have children until you put somebody's daughter up on a pedestal and treat her as a queen, and you got a family that you in charge of, that's manhood. Mm -hmm. No matter how corny it sounds, <laughs> this is what you got to get to. This is the ultimate goal. This is the proving ground. You can tell me you a man all you want <laughs> until you have some children and you're responsible for them, and you got a woman that you're responsible for, mm -hmm. and you honor the responsibility. Honor the responsibility. Yes. Anybody can be a father. Take a special man to be a daddy. Yes. Yes. See, you got anybody be a father. But when you the daddy, though, 
when you showing up, when you putting it in, that's manhood. You have to get to this. Go be somebody's daddy and somebody's husband. Go try that. If you do that good, whew, you can you you gotta have a war for that. <laughs> now, Colette, let me talk to you. How does it feel watching your dad's relationship with your daughter? It's wonderful. The love that they have for each other. It's um, no words for it really because she that's this is her best friend. Like they are legit best friends. They do everything together and they, we live about three and a half hours from each other. So they can't see each other all the time. But when they do, my dad's on the floor with a tiara and having tea parties <laughs> and, and they'll play all day. And it's just, you know, like he said, he, he may have missed out on things with me, but to see it with them, it's, you know, I've forgiven, I love my father and I always felt love growing up, you know? So just to see it now with them, it, may, it means the world to me. So, Tony, you also wrote a book, and, and the book is called Broken Road, Turning My Mess into a Message. Mm -hmm. Why'd you feel the need to write the book? The, the whole thing of God giving me a second chance, when you're about to die, and I was about to die, mm -hmm. I had an overdose, I overdosed, mm -hmm. and I'm laying on the ground, and I cry out to God, God, I don't want to die like this. That's what I said. I said it twice. God, I don't want to die like this. And my heart started you know, calming down a little bit, but it was too late. The, the ambulance had already got there and took me off to the, to the hospital, and now I'm on ESPN and everything. Tony Collins overdosed, <laughs> but, uh, but that's what the devil tried to do to you. But for, for me, it's, it's, it's like I have to do everything I can possibly do to help other people not go through what I went through. Mm. And so that's, that's, the, that's the calling that I have. I always thought, you know, to, you know, when you have a gift, you know, when you, when you find out where your gift is, yeah. that, you know, that's a gift, but yeah. you, you got to give that gift away. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And so the reason I wrote the book was to just to help other people not go through what I went through, not to take their daughters through what I took my daughters or my sons through. Uh, but uh, I, I just want to just help as many pe people as possible. Well, you know, man, because this is something I, I learned a long time ago. Your career is what you paid for. Mm -hmm. Your calling is what you made for. Right. See, you needed all in moments. Because you ain't got no book, you ain't got no story. You can't help nobody. So you can't help nobody if you ain't been through nothing. Right. You know, hard to be the swim coach and you can't swim. <laughs> you had to go through everything you went through to get to this point right here. Now the version we got now is the version we need. Mm -hmm. But you needed to be laying on that floor that day. Yeah. You know, that's, that's the cold part about it. That's why I teach it at my camp. You've got to have these tough moments. You know what church folks say? You can't have a testimony without a test. It, it just ain't no testimony. Because what you finna tell me? You know, but you can tell a person how to get over if you've been under. You can tell them how to get up if you've been down. You can tell them how to win if you've lost. You can't have these conversations with nobody. So I, 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 I love your story. Cammy. This little girl, she's sharp, ain't she? As soon as you call her name. <laughs> Cammy, you and your family, you, you, you guys are just adorable together, and, and we know you like toys and clothes. You like toys and clothes? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Belk, they are giving you a $1,000 gift certificate <laughs> to pick some of your favorite things. The, but make sure you share that gift card with your mom and your granddad so they can shop too. <laughs> Tony, man, I, I love this. I love this bond that you have you with your granddaughter, man. I love the relationship you have with your daughter, man. I appreciate you being honest and open, man, and sharing your story, man. And you're gonna help a lot of people, man. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.